I can't tell you how hard it is just to keep getting beaten down and and just feeling like you're going nowhere and waking up every day knowing that today you got to fail. Today is the day that you have to wake up and things aren't going to go the way that you want them and you're not going to accomplish what you set out to do, but you just might get a little bit closer. Maybe. And that's the hardest thing for people and that's the hardest thing for me is just to wake up and admit that I'm going to fail, admit that I'm going to do something wrong and then I'm going to screw up. I feel that I'm such a lone wolf in this life because I have the dedication just to constantly make mistakes. And I do it in my relationships and I do it in my businesses and I do it in my life and I learn from my mistakes. That's the difference is is that I don't keep making the same ones. And the people that get to hang around me and the people that know that Addison's going to mess up, he's not going to be perfect, but he's going to keep swinging. He's going to keep going up to bat. And the people in the crowds are going to keep yelling at him, booing him, and just saying that he's the worst person in the world. It's going to happen. I know it because I live it. I constantly wake up with that, knowing that that's what I do. That's who I am. And I've accepted my flaws and my failures. And I've taken my flaws and my failures and I've set them down to build a bridge over my problems, to know that I'm not perfect, to know that there's always something that I can improve on. That's the hardest thing, just to keep swinging, to get up there and swing with all your might, even though you might not hit that ball, just to keep going, to get up to the plate, to not listen to the naysayers, to the people who say you can't do it, Give it your all and take that swing. I know it's not easy. I know you might miss. I know you might fail. But I need you to step up there. And I need you to swing with all your might. I need you to give it the best shot you got. Because if I can live my life and not be worried about the criticism and the hate and the reviews and the negative and the naysayers, then so can you. Just get up and do what you know you need to do. We're all dealing with it in our own ways. But you are one of a kind. And there's no one in this world like you. What's up? What's going on? Yes. All right. If you got a dream, you got to protect it. Yeah, I'm going to say that again. If you have a dream, then you got to protect it, man. There are so many ways that your dream will slowly disappear. And it's without you even realizing it. And those dreams, they're not going to reappear until you're on your deathbed. And you're going to be regretting that you didn't take better care of that dream. So first off... Anything or anyone that disrespects your dream needs to be cut out of your life. Yeah. You got friends talking bad about your dream? Gone. You got negative family members? Get rid of them. You got one life. And just like that cell phone in your hand right now, that battery is going to die. And every minute it gets closer and closer. So let me ask you this, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want your dream to come true? And let me guess, you're really good at planning out how it's going to get done, but you don't have enough time, you don't have enough money, and you don't know the right people. Well, you don't this, you don't that, you just don't. And that's all excuses created in your mind. And if you don't believe me, then check this little story out. I come up to you and I say, hey, My company just got bought out by Google, and they're moving me and my team to California. They got us a private jet, they got us a mansion with the Lamborghinis in the garage. I need you to get ready, because in three days, our new life is starting. And oh yeah, you're now the CEO. What? Yeah, every single one of you would start getting on the phone, calling your girlfriends, quitting your job, packing your bags, and getting ready for the good life. And that's exactly my point. When you got a guarantee, you're all in. 
Well, let me tell you this. Your dreams are a guarantee. You just got to go all in. You put in the effort. You change your life. You stop wasting time and drop everything and fully commit. And start believing in your guaranteed dream. Now, let me get real with you. It ain't going to happen overnight. You're going to spend nights awake working on your dream. You will cry heavy tears of pain and frustration. Taking care of this dream is harder than taking care of a baby. All your money, gone. All your free time, gone. But it's not going to matter. Your dream will grow and the joy you will receive from creating nothing into something is a feeling of accomplishment that you won't ever be able to describe. You're a warrior. You got patience. You're not a quitter. And you cannot be stopped. And best of all, you got a guarantee. Every day, you're making progress. Now that sounds a little strange, am I right? Every day, you're making progress. I bet you're thinking, man, Addison, what are you talking about? I am not anywhere close to being a millionaire. In fact, last year, I was richer than I am this year. What are you talking about? Every day, I'm making progress. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, let me tell you this. If you got a day off from work, and all you did that day was eat junk food and watch Netflix, then you know what you just did? You just added a little bit more fat to your body. And if that was your goal to gain more weight, you're making progress. Next time, eat two bags of Cheetos instead of one. You got this progress. Well, then you say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to be fat. I want to be strong and ripped. Oh, that's what you want. Well, your actions speak differently. Because you for damn sure know you ain't losing 10 pounds and getting a six-pack after binge-washing Game of Thrones. And I know you'll see commercials selling you on fitness equipment, telling you, hey, only 10 minutes a day and you'll look like those Instagram models. But what they don't tell you is, it's not the fancy equipment, it's what's inside your mind that makes you want to change. You can buy thousands of dollars worth of fitness equipment, but only you can decide how much progress you want. Now apply that to every single thing that you want in life. You want to be a better singer? Then sing more. You want a better position at your job? Then work harder. You want to be a millionaire? You save. Easier said than done, right? But listen to me carefully. If you do what is easy in life, then you will have a hard life. But if you do what is hard in life, you will have an easy life. You still don't believe me, all right? You just found out that you got a new cavity in your teeth. And the doctor says it's $500, but you take the easy route by not brushing your teeth. You ignore the phone calls when your dentist calls, and a few months later, you get a shooting pain in your jaw, and the dentist now says you got to pay $2,000 for a root canal. This happens all the damn time, and it's the worst. It sucks. And if you would have taken the hard path in the beginning, you would have made your life a lot more easier. You got something special right now. You're connecting the dots. You are seeing the bigger picture and you are putting the armor on. You are becoming intelligent. Now all you got to do from now on is ask, how will this situation progress my life? Will it go in the direction I want my future to be? Or will it take me down a path filled with stress and regret? It comes down to your choice. Take the hard path. When something in life comes easy, be wary. Because the best views are the hardest climbs. You will not get what you want without giving up a piece of yourself and putting in the hard work. I started to hear voices in my head when I was eight. They would wake me up at night. I couldn't fall back asleep while the voices yelled and screamed my name. But the kind of screams and yells that your parents do for you when you're in trouble. I'd lie awake in my bed, wondering when the nightmare would end. This went on for many years, and my parents told me it wasn't real, that I didn't need help and I should just snap out of it. 
but it didn't work. How do you explain schizophrenia to a kid who's 12? I thought everyone heard voices like me. Things started to change when I hit puberty and everything was fine. I had a new way to hide the voices inside. Marijuana and alcohol were my new best friends. Started smoking stress off of a tin can. Run out of the store with 30 beers in my hand. But it wasn't enough. So a friend gave me Xanax and life was good. Klonopin, nitrous oxide, cocaine, what wouldn't I do? Experimenting with drugs was my way of coping. With the things I couldn't comprehend, like those stupid voices in my head. I know I had an evil spirit inside. And I was listening to everything it said. It told me I was better off dead. It said, how worthless can you be? You're a suicidal teen with nothing to achieve. Swallow these pills or the louder I'll scream. No. No, this wasn't me. I'm done with these voices trying to control my life. I know I'm a special person. And I know this isn't the end. And I know that these voices are all in my head. So I made a choice. I turned my demons into my own voice. And eventually I started to win. Now my voices tell me that this isn't the end. end. They say pick yourself up because you're a champion. Don't give up because you're a winner. 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 There's still time, it's not over. over. I turn my demons into my angels and you will too. I still hear voices, but they're brand new. One run can change your day. Many runs can change your life. So don't run with your legs. Run with your heart. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and knows it must outrun the fastest lion or it will be killed. And every same morning, a lion wakes up and knows it must run faster than the slowest gazelle or it will starve. It doesn't matter whether you're the lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be running. This is my run. This is my pace. And the more I run, the more my potential is revealed. I don't run to win races. I don't run to get places. I run to escape this world. I run to find the peace within myself. I run to feel free. And I run to grow strong. Check, check, hey. We live in a society where changing your appearance on the outside gives the illusion that you've changed on the inside. For a while, that's what I thought I needed. I colored my hair, tattooed my skin, but there was no meaning. I'd look in the mirror and see how much I've changed. But every day always remained the same. Just another messed up person without a reason to live. I wanted to be better but wasn't willing to dig. Beneath my pain and my suffering lied, everything I was trying to hide. I changed my looks but still felt dead inside. I would scream at night, God, why am I still alive? And I tried to convince myself that I didn't need help. But I realized that you have to believe in yourself before anyone else. Because it's not where you start. It's about what's in your heart. So now I look into your eyes because appearances are lies. And I know that's easier said than done. And when life gets hard, I'm trying to watch where I run. Because where I go is what I become. 
And I thought I was having fun, but now changing my appearance just seems so dumb. And I hope you get something out of this message. At the end of your life, your words are all that you're left with. And I don't want the fame. I'm just trying to make a difference. Because when I needed someone there, no one even really cared. But I'm here for you. And when life can do struggles, we're going to see it through. And I hope you build a better life. These words were hard to say, but I just felt right. I can't tell you how hard it is just to keep getting beaten down and and just feeling like you're going nowhere and waking up every day knowing that today you've got to fail. Today is the day that you have to wake up and things aren't going to go the way that you want them and you're not going to accomplish what you set out to do, but you just might get a little bit closer. Maybe. And that's the hardest thing for people and that's the hardest thing for me is just to wake up and admit that I'm going to fail, admit that I'm going to do something wrong and then I'm going to screw up. I feel that I'm such a lone wolf in this life because I have the dedication just to constantly make mistakes. And I do it in my relationships and I do it in my businesses and I do it in my life and I learn from my mistakes. That's the difference is, is that I don't keep making the same ones And the people that get to hang around me and the people that know that Addison's going to mess up, he's not going to be perfect, but he's going to keep swinging. He's going to keep going up to bat. And the people in the crowds are going to keep yelling at him, booing him, and just saying that he's the worst person in the world. It's going to happen. I know it because I live it. I constantly wake up with that, knowing that that's what I do. That's who I am. And I've accepted my flaws and my failures. And I've taken my flaws and my failures and I've set them down to build a bridge over my problems, to know that I'm not perfect, to know that there's always something that I can improve on. That's the hardest thing, just to keep swinging, to get up there and swing with all your might, even though you might not hit that ball, just to keep going, to get up to the plate, to not listen to the naysayers, to the people who say you can't do it, Give it your all and take that swing. I know it's not easy. I know you might miss. I know you might fail. But I need you to step up there. And I need you to swing with all your might. I need you to give it the best shot you got. Because if I can live my life and not be worried about the criticism and the hate and the reviews and the negative and the naysayers, then so can you. Just get up and do what you know you need to do. We're all dealing with it in our own ways. But you are one of a kind. And there's no one in this world like you. What's up? What's going on? Yes. All right. If you got a dream, you got to protect it. Yeah, I'm going to say that again. If you have a dream, then you got to protect it, man. There are so many ways that your dream will slowly disappear. And it's without you even realizing it. And those dreams, they're not going to reappear until you're on your deathbed. And you're going to be regretting that you didn't take better care of that dream. So first off... Anything or anyone that disrespects your dream needs to be cut out of your life. Yeah.